Hi everyone, I'm the Boston Potter. As they would say in Boston, let's get started. This is a quick video on how to do uh, watermelon, how to make something look like watermelon. So we're gonna do this martini glass and I'm just gonna show you how to make it look like watermelon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn it upside down. Um, I am gonna use a sponge for this. Uh, the, the whole thing I'm probably gonna use a sponge for. Um, so I need water. I'm gonna get some water and a sponge. And this is what I'm gonna do. It's very simple. So to make, make a watermelon martini glass, this is what you need to do. So you're gonna start with a sponge. I'm only wetting it because it was very dry. So you're gonna squeeze it out the water. And I'm gonna sponge a coat or two of this very light green. Now I'm using key lime pie for this coat, but I'm seeing that it's a little bit light. I might wanna go a little bit darker. So I'm sponging this whole coat on of this uh, key lime pie. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit of, you can use, it depends how dark or light you want it, you can use, you can use key lime pie, you can use um, um, lime ricky, or you can use Kermit, which I'm gonna, eh, Kermit's a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna stick with the, um, the key lime pie. Okay, so I'm gonna do a second coat. That'll darken it up a little bit. You can put two coats, you can put three if you really want this to be a little bit darker. But two coats sponged on is, is pretty good. It goes on pretty well, so. Now, I'm gonna turn this up because I am gonna do the edge of my glass. I want that to be green also. Okay, so that's that's drying. Um, I'm gonna take my sponge, I'm gonna get another sponge. Um, and I'm gonna cut my sponge so that I have a very small, I have a small piece, okay? A small piece of sponge. I just want a small piece to do my, to do the inside and to do the outside. Now. I'm gonna use uh, red blaze because it's a little, it's not so, it's not like a Santa Claus red. It's more like a, um, a little bit more of an orangey red, which I think looks a little better for watermelon. So I'm gonna take this sponge here. I gotta wet it because I don't wanna go with a dry sponge. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do the inside with the red while the outside is drying. Now this, you may want a couple of coats. As you can see, I'm, I'm just sponging this also. I'm just going to the edge and I'm gonna clean that edge because I, I really want the that edge to be green instead of red. You could make it red if you wanted to. I'm gonna do it green. And when this dries, you also want to put a second, maybe even third coat of this so it's nice and deep, the color. Sponged on coats give it a little bit heavier, go on a little heavier than like, um, you know, a brush. So you can get it on pretty heavy with a sponge. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And... Um, I'm going to clean off my edge a little because I really don't want the red on the edge. I want the green. 
So I'll go back and add the green after. Okay, so you're gonna do two or three coats of red in the inside. The outside's got that coat of um, Lime Ricky. Um, now I'm gonna take the smaller sponge. So I'm gonna have to rinse this one, this red one off. I'm gonna use my this little sponge. And now I'm gonna use the very dark green, which is um, Green Acres. I'm going to squeeze that out. That's very dark. So now I'm going to make, I want to make this look like a watermelon. So I'm going to put a little bit of um, the green acres on my sponge. And I'm going to go right from that, this edge here. I'm going to go down. Now this only needs one coat. I'm going to get a little bit wider as I go to the top because it's martini glass. I kind of wanted to to um, spread out a little as I get because it's so small down here that I I might have to make it a little bigger at the edge so I'm gonna do that still gonna give it the watermelon look okay now I got that one there now in order to get these lines even you want to go directly across from that so I'm gonna go right here so that I have one two and then I'm gonna put one in the middle so now because that's how you know how many you have to fit so now, I'm going to do one on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to put one here. Now you can put smaller stripes and do it a little close together, but I like it like this. Um, and I'm going to put one on this side, so that kind of keeps them a little bit more even. I'm not doing this as a whole, um, you know, class type of thing. I'm just going to do it as um, as a technique. So I'm just showing you this, the, you know, how you can do the watermelon. I'm going to put another line in there here, a smaller one. Okay, so you can put in however many you want. Put one here. Okay, now, so you have your watermelon look. So that's the green, uh, the light green, the dark green. Now at the top, Remember how I said I wanted this green. So after you do your three, I don't have three coats on, but after you do your three coats of red and you've done that and you clean off your edge and you want to make this look like the rest of this side here, you're going to go back and put the, the extra green on. Because I had wiped it off. So now I got, you want to put a coat of two, maybe two coats of green at this top the rim. Now, this is all done with a sponge. Um, now I'm going to take that dark green again and wherever I have my little stripe, I'm going to bring it up to the top. Okay, so you got to look for your stripes. Bring that up so that when you're looking at the glass, looking inside the glass, you can tell it's a watermelon just you tell it this is watermelon just from the um from looking at the top of the glass because you got this following pattern pattern with everything else um the last thing you're going to do to this which i don't have to do so this is what it looks like okay and you can go and paint the the, the bottom solid green you can do the i would just do this a solid green or a solid red you know, with the with the red blaze, if you wanted, um, then you're just going to take a. You will probably need a brush for this pot because you're going to take the the um, small brush and some black, and then you're going to put your little um, watermelon seeds in there. This ain't quite dry, so it's going to be hard to do. But you know, you're just going to put 
some seeds, which is just very simple to do because it's just a uh, little teardrop, okay? You can put big ones, small ones, Then you're gonna dip it in clay glaze and fire it to a cone of six, and uh, it should be beautiful. And that's how you do watermelon technique. That's just just a simple way to do it. You can get a lot more detailed, but this is pretty simple. Anybody can do it. So that's it. That's your um, little seeds. You can put fill it with seeds and. You have your um, watermelon look on the outside. Then you want to solid coat that. And um, that's it.